All right, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> what we got going on here today is more of uh, what you would call, I think, Dimash. Um, we uploaded a video of his that he did, Opera 2. World's best singer, man. Dude blew my mind. Uh, world's best voice, put it that way. And uh, one of our uh, folks from our community hit us back and said that we need to check out SOS. Mm. And uh, I'm going to read what they have here. This was uh, from Melody. She said, this is not like The Voice. It's a prestigious competition for famous and experienced Chinese singers who are especially invited to it. He was a young anonymous singer from Kazakhstan, from as you know, and it brought as a wild card, and he became famous in China overnight. So they wanted us to react to SOS, you know, be, and this this from the same contest for the last thing that he sung, um, and, and then she said, you know, we will see that, you know, there's no other vocalist like him out there. So let's get to Dimash singing SOS. All right, y'all. Because he was singing so low the first he, time. He, he sucks you in. He, he sucks you in. You know, you, you got to lean a little bit forward. In yeah, I try to hear. In. So he's good, though, man. He's good, though. Let's see what else he got for us. Okay. Is he going to break the wine glass? I hope not, because I'm trying to drink it. <laughs> Look at the people in the crowd and the audience. Even backstage, I would presume that's be backstage in the green room there. They amazed, man. The dude's just blowing them up, man. Blowing them up. Well, you know, I would love to hear that on some big speakers. I'd probably be jumping out of my chair. You got that right. Then the glasses probably would break. <laughs> yes. This song has a nice melody. Uh, again, um, I guess I speak for Frank and I. We don't know what the words he's singing, mm -mm. but just the melody and the way he's coming across with, with the words he is singing in his language. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful, man. It, uh, music is beautiful when it is used to the best of its ability. And that's what he's doing.
Now that part he just hit there was still a high note, but that wasn't a falsetto. That's first tenor. Yeah, and he, he wasn't singing that part falsetto, and he still got up there. Man, that dude got strong lungs, strong lungs. Great stage presence, man. Yes, it was pretty good. Great stage presence. You but, can tell that he'd been practicing. Yeah, he had been. But, <laughs> you know, I'm always I'm always comparing these singers to Minnie Ripperton. Can't compare, man. You just got to know it <laughs> is what it is. It's good, but he, didn't, he couldn't hit that note like Minnie Ripperton. So, you know, he's a first tenor, so he probably can't get... Um, he can get it. Soprano. For those who don't know who Minnie Ripperton is, <laughs> seeing that he can't stay present in what we're doing. I try. I try. I try. But for 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 a first tenor, you know, that's pretty good. I mean, I, it's, yeah. it's 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 uh it's pretty it's pretty good. I can't World, hit no world's notes greatest like that. voice. I say that because even the one he's talking about, Minnie Ripperton, she didn't have that many songs where she was singing high like that. She only had one that she was really famous for. Mm -hmm. But this guy here seemed like man, he could sing almost anything, man, and just put octaves on it if you want to. Yeah. So that was pretty good. Man. We missed all her because she passed away. We missed all of that, which she could have done. But you know. So, that is what we have for you all. For one of our viewers, we hope you uh, enjoyed this as much as we enjoyed this. And this is the F and G show. The F and G show. And we are out. Two to beam up. <laughs> <laughs> we out.